Hey Danville, it's Rodney back for another tour through town. Later on, we'll see how Ellis Park is made into Winterland. But first, we head to Gallery on the Square to take a look at some awesome art. Hey Danville, paint yourself into a corner and stay with us. Production assistance for Hey Danville is provided by the following. Digital Rain LLC, a video and TV production, integration, and consultation company. We are not done working for you once your production has wrapped. Digital Rain LLC will provide assistance in getting your new video message out there on your website, partner's websites, and even your smartphone. Find out why Digital Rain LLC is where creativity reigns. The Danville Chamber of Commerce. Whether you're a family looking for a new place to call home or a business owner seeking to expand your business, the Danville Chamber of Commerce is here to help. Visit the Danville Chamber website and find out why Danville is a great place to spend an hour or a lifetime. And by the Danville Downtown Partnership. Because downtown Danville is more than the center of town. It's the heart of Hendricks County. Whether it is historic preservation or high-tech advancements, the Downtown Danville Partnership is here to maintain small-town charm while providing modern conveniences. I'm Jerry Crosby. I'm the coordinator here in the Gallery on the Square, and I've been the coordinator all year. My name's Kathy Breelidge. I'm with Hendricks County Arts Council. Uh, the Hendricks County Arts Council was formed in 2005 to um, bring awareness to the arts all around Hendricks County. My name is Rose Richard. I am a artist, photographer. I'm a member of the gallery and I'm also a member of the board for the Hendricks County Arts Council. The gallery on the square is he here in Danville and it was started uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago. Um, as a way for us to show and showcase local artists work. The gallery is a space where we as local artists can come together and have a place to market and sell our art. It's hard for sometimes an individual artist to be able to market and sell their art on their own. But when you bring it into a collective building, then you can get in a, a larger audience and um, be able to have more opportunity to have your work viewed and uh, have potential sales from, from that viewing. Uh, when we got the space, it had been an antique store for many years and it needed a lot of bringing up to date for an art gallery. So the members all got together and came in here and scraped floors and painted walls and the gallery you see today doesn't look anything like the space that we originally got. Well, my primary function with the Hendricks County Arts Council is to be a, a cheerleader and public relations. Uh, I act in, in try to get out into the community as much as possible and I I'll try to make things happen like uh, these opportunities as much as possible so that the word gets out there about what the Hendricks County Arts Council is doing and our goals and objectives and that the gallery is here. We represent jewelry making, pottery, uh, clay, glass, fiber, fiber arts, uh, three kinds of painting, watercolor, acrylic, oil. I'm a potter and I make jewelry. And I teach pottery making to children and adults. The adult classes, as you saw one on site tonight, happen almost every night of the week. And we have an adult pottery class on the wheel in addition to the painting class that's happening right now, there's an acrylic painting class on Thursday nights. There's a miscellaneous jewelry class that goes on from time to time that's jewelry from junk. And also creating uh, jewelry with stones like you see on the case there. There's more artists in Hendricks County than you can think of. Um, I know just for Arts Go alone, we, get, we have about 69 artists there. So, and I, I believe we've got about 120 artist members. The gallery needs um, funding, as you've heard before, uh, because we are a not-for-profit. We really also need to get the word out that we're here, because we have first-time visitors all the time that are saying this is the best-kept secret in 
Hendricks County, we didn't even know you were here, even though we have advertised widely and we think we're beating the drum about it all the time, but it's still a well-kept secret. Uh, we like to have visitors from everywhere. We like to have children and adults in the gallery. We want to offer classes to children and adults uh, throughout the county. We have a newsletter that goes out every month and it talks about a little bit of what's going on in the gallery and it also then includes a listing of all of the classes that we have uh, going on at the gallery so if you want information about the newsletter and the classes that are being offered you can come into the gallery give us your name and email and you'll be put on that uh, monthly newsletter list and receive information from the gallery and get class information about that as well. If somebody would like to become involved with the Arts Council, they can visit our website at www.hendrickscountyarts.org or they can visit here at the gallery on the square and we, we set up at many booths throughout the county so they can see us around there. Hey Danville, Gallery on the Square is a great place for all your holiday shopping. Stay with us for a preview of Winterland. Digital Rain LLC, a video and TV production, integration, and consultation company. We are not done working for you once your production has wrapped. Digital Rain LLC will provide assistance in getting your new video message out there on your website, partner's websites, and even your smartphone. Find out why Digital Rain LLC is where creativity reigns. The Danville Chamber of Commerce. Whether you're a family looking for a new place to call home or a business owner seeking to expand your business, the Danville Chamber of Commerce is here to help. Visit the Danville Chamber website and find out why Danville is a great place to spend an hour or a lifetime. And by the Danville Downtown Partnership. Because downtown Danville is more than the center of town. It's the heart of Hendricks County. Whether it is historic preservation or high-tech advancements, the Downtown Danville Partnership is here to maintain small-town charm while providing modern conveniences. My name is William Lacey. I'm Assistant Superintendent for the Danville Parks. And uh, kind of like the jack-of-all-trades in the uh, parks industry, we take care of the aquatic center take care of the park, we take care of the fitness center, and we offer programs to the community. Ellis Park is uh, almost 100 years. In 2013, it'll be 100 years. We have uh, two shelter houses, Shelter 1 and Shelter 2. We have an amphitheater. We have football fields, baseball fields. Um, we also have an aquatic center, Gill Family Aquatic Center. It's, a, uh, it's got multiple slides, vortex, hydrotherapy, concession stand. Um, that's pretty much it, just regular park you know, features, a creek, and uh, we have the Swinging Bridge, which is a staple in the Danville community. Um, and we also have the only clay tennis courts in Indiana. We all kind of work as a team here at Danville Parks. We all uh, chip in. We're the, we're the janitors, we're the electricians, we're the uh, programmers, we're the uh, managers. We're, we kind of do everything. We, you know, operate the aquatic center, staffing, training, hiring, uh, fitness center. We put together fitness programs. We uh, help with basketball leagues and we run our own basketball leagues and, and different programs throughout the community. Danville Winterland was started, I believe, around 15 years ago by the Chamber of Commerce and uh, the Town of Danville Parks Department. Um, they take care of like the operational things we take care of. Um, pretty much the equipment. We take care of all the lights and putting up everything and kind of organizing the park and coming up with new scenes every year. Uh, there's over, it's over a million light bulbs involved in it and we have to check everyone. We also become electricians pretty much by, you know, learning wattages and how to, you know, make things proper and, and to work in a functional manner. We do have a lot of electrical cables. Um, you can kind of see around it if you come out here. We, we probably have, I would say, maybe 25 miles worth of cable at least that we have out here. Lamp wire, electrical cord, and just light bulb, you know. Uh, 
uh, sockets. We have about six staff members and it takes us every bit of, I would probably say around six weeks just from start to finish. It takes about six weeks to put up and then probably about you know, a week and a half to take down. <laughs> When you come to Danville Winterland, uh, you come in a car load, you drive around the circle, you can drive around as many times as you like. You see all kinds of uh, different light displays. We have uh, new, two years ago, we added a music scene that's animated and all the lights go to the music. This year it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So you'll be able to tune in in your car and listen to Rudolph and see Rudolph jump around and do all kinds of cool things. Um, we have Santa Village, there's uh, an ice skating rink, uh, there's, we have a castle, there's all different kinds of things. We try to add new and exciting features every year. Come on out and see us, it's, it's a great community event. We, um, all the proceeds that are donated go back in the community and what better thing than that, you know, start the tradition. Also that first weekend that we open is uh, Christmas tree lighting on the square where Santa will come, he'll uh, light the tree up there and then he'll come down in a convertible and turn on all the lights in the, it, down here as well. If you wanted to come out and volunteer, you could give us a ring and you can help us and we'll teach you a lot about electricity and, and Christmas lights. Hey Danville, I want to say thank you to all the people who have caught me around town with ideas for the show. If you have a suggestion for the show, if you would like to replay the show on your website, or if you have a business that would like to sponsor the show, give us an electronic shout out at the information you see on the screen. Hey Danville, thanks for letting us light up your lamp.